All right, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I just ended my stream. I basically rage quit off my stream. So I'm a little bit pissed off right now. And if anything I say here is maybe a little bit too harsh or a little bit too toxic, well, at least you know I'm, you know, currently kind of irritated. So maybe that's not the best time to make a video, but fuck it, man. Guys, the Fell Winter's Lie quest went lie today. And I think it needs to be changed from Fell Winter's Lie to fucking Fell Winter's Letdown. Because, check this out, guys. Okay, so if you're a Destiny 2 player, right? And you don't know what Fell Winter's Lie is, let me explain to you first off. It's a Destiny 1 Iron Banner shotgun. One of the most notorious shotties in the game. It sniped people. It was just, you know, a bit of a monster. Everybody feared the Fell Winter's Lie, right? So, the quest closed live today. Iron Banner, by the way, went live today. And uh, you'd think, okay, Fell Winter's Lie quest is here. Iron Banner is here. And guess what the fuck we are doing to obtain this weapon? Nine million public events. That's right. You didn't mishear me. Nine million public events. That's three million on Io, three million on the moon, and three million on Mars. How the fuck this is connected to the Felwinner's Light Shotgun, I do not know, and I do not understand. And I just have to say that I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just incredibly irritated right now. I logged on. I was like, all right, okay. I'm not participating in this because I don't want to do Serif public events. I don't think it's interesting. I don't think it's fun. And as a PvP player, I have very, very little reason to want to do that kind of content. It's just boring. It's monotonous and it's flat out lazy. I just don't like it at all. Now, the community side of the event might be fun for some people. Everybody grouping up together. Oh yeah, let's work on the public events together. See that number so they got. I see that man. You know the Bastion quest that was really cool. Had a puzzle involved, all of that kind of thing. There was a lot of thinking going on. This is just monotonous, boring grinding, and it's stretching out the content so thin that it's basically about to snap. And the part where I really, really got irritated is like, okay, fine. You know what? Maybe I'll do one or two public events here and there and contribute in my own little way. But I'm a PvP player. I'm gonna go and play PvP. Now, anybody who was just watching my live stream can say this. This is no word of a lie. I was sitting in orbit for up to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, trying to find a game. Why? Because there's skill-based matchmaking in Iron Banner. So with skill-based matchmaking and low player population, you get incredibly long queue times. And when you finally fly into a game, you're in a sweat-filled, lag-filled tournament for five minutes, where you go as absolutely hard as you can just to get five Iron Banner tokens and then back to orbit and do it all over again. And I honestly just couldn't take it. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna stream me sitting in orbit for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just to find one sweaty, unfun game. You know, like, where is the fun in that? What else could I do? Honestly, I should have gone and started farming Nightfalls. Apparently they're dropping double loot still, but I was just not in a great state of mind after today. Like, I just, I don't know, man. I don't understand how the Iron Banner experience can be this terrible. And at the same time, Felwinter's Lie Quest is available and it has nothing to do with Iron Banner. I, I just, I just don't understand how, how they could put that out and think it's a good idea. I really don't understand. And I know people are going to be coming at me saying, well, most of the weapons are obtained in PvE. Yeah, that's true. And that's fine. But how are you going to bring back Felwinter's Lie on the same day that you bring back Iron Banner? And it has nothing to do with Iron Banner. Maybe it's because they know the Iron Banner experience right now is nothing short of a fucking mess. Maybe that's what it is. I don't understand how Bungie can be okay with skill-based matchmaking when the queue times are this long. And I was in a fire team, mind you, with an absolute variety of skill levels. I was just playing with my viewers. Some of my viewers are decent at PvP. Some of them barely play at all. We weren't exactly in a stacked squad full of top tier players. Therefore, we should only match top tier players. That isn't what we were doing. It's an absolute variety of skill levels in the fire team. Yet we had to wait 10 minutes to find a game. I just don't understand how you can have Iron Banner be such a mess. 6v6 matchmaking in this game is an absolute mess, guys. Low player populations plus skill based matchmaking is a recipe for disaster. On the other hand, you have Trials. Trials of Osiris, you play cheaters all weekend. So there's cheaters non-stop in Trials. Iron Banner has skill-based matchmaking up the arse, so you can't find a game for 10 minutes. Felbent as Lie comes back, and they've got to do 9 million public events in order to get the weapon. Like, yo, man. Guys, you know what? As I'm 
recording this rant, I'm starting to cool off as it was because I was really irritated ending my stream because I wanted to stream for at least another three or four hours. I suppose not eating or drinking all day probably isn't doing wonders for my mentality either, but like I'm just hitting an absolute peak of frustration with the game. We were promised so much about season 10. Trials, two years, you know, we're waiting. They wanted to get it just right. Trials is a fucking hot mess. Barely 150,000 people playing Trials across three platforms on a weekend is nothing short of an absolute disaster as far as I'm concerned. I don't know about you guys. I don't know how Bungie feel about this, but like something has got to change, man. I don't know, like maybe the September DLC is going to be an absolute blowout. Maybe it's forsaken levels of quality and maybe that will make up for what we're currently going through. But as a PvP content creator, having waited so long for PvP content, you know, it's what, it's the 12th of May. Obviously, the world's in a crazy place with the virus and all of that. I totally understand their hands are maybe tied right now in terms of making changes. But we haven't had the coronavirus all year, you know? In the last six months, people have been requesting these things over and over and over. Skill-based matchmaking isn't fun for most people. If you're anywhere average or above that, you're not going to enjoy this game when you're queuing up for sixes. You're going to be sitting in orbit for hours and hours. And one thing that I've seen from Bungie employees replying on Twitter that classic mix is a viable alternative to uh, skill-based matchmaking. It's not. It really isn't. 6v6 is like your taster for PvP, right? And if most people go into 6v6 and have an awful time, no wonder they're not going to touch Iron Banner. No wonder they're not going to touch Trials of Osiris. When you release Trials of Osiris after a year plus of absolutely no PvP updates, basically PvP was a ghost town the day before Trials went live, right? Nobody was playing PvP. So how is, you know, Trials going to have a high population? That's not even factoring in the poor loot, the cheaters, the error codes, the matchmaking. It's not even factoring all that in. That all comes after. I don't know, man. I'm just at a loss. Felwyn has let down, boys. I feel incredibly let down. And I'm just, I don't know, man. I feel like as a PvP content creator for this game, this is like a real low point, man. And it should be a real high point. And that's why I'm so salty. And I know this is a salty complainer video. I know people are going to probably downvote or dislike the video, but I'm just being honest with how I feel. I just, I don't know, man. I was expecting so much, you know, and maybe, maybe expecting good things from this game as a PP player is just not a very smart thing to do. And maybe that's my mistake. I don't know, man. I just honestly feel like we are kind of owed an explanation. I feel, I, I don't know if I'm alone in feeling this way, but I really do feel like something needs to be addressed because we waited so long we waited two years for trials to come back and it's come back and it's a mess how are you going to leave trials on the shelf for two years and then bring it back and not have an effective anti-cheat in place how are we going to do these things how are you going to make the decision to make trials free to play knowing that free to play is what brings in all the hackers how are you going to do that it's like they just don't give a fuck about pvp that's how it feels to me all the paid for content is pve and all the free content is PvP, so they don't give a shit. And the level of quality, the product itself, is just not there, man. It's just not there. Iron Banner, it's just an absolute joke. And it has been terrible since Destiny 2 came out. The only good memories people have of Iron Banner are from Destiny 1. And Iron Banner wasn't perfect in Destiny 1. Now the weapon they're bringing back today, Feldman is like, it's an old gun. All the trials loot, it's all old loot. The armor, it's old. The maps, they're old. Like, where is the new, good, original content? Like, where is it? Like, I don't know, man. I'm just searching for answers, man. Like I said, as a PvP guy, I'm at a height of frustration. I play Trials all weekend. I still manage to have fun in Trials, even with all the hacking and all the bollocks that, that there is in the game mode. I uploaded a video yesterday showing that. But then, like, Tuesday rolls around. Felwyn is live quest here. You're like, all right, cool, man. Legendary iconic pvp shoddy is here let's go for some pvp content it has nothing to do with pvp and then the pvp itself during the week fuck man you wanna go play freelance solo survival you're gonna match cheaters every fucking game you wanna play 6v6 you're gonna be playing laggy sweat lords every game you wanna play iron banner you're gonna be in orbit for 10 minutes at a time like what are your pvp players supposed to be doing should we be playing other games maybe man i don't know I had to do this rant video, I had to get this off my chest, I had to vent. 
My frustrations are an all-time high with this game. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I had to get out there. I'm just being honest, and that's it.